Hello, welcome to another one of my CV2 tutorials. Today we're going to go over the Spawner Gadget V2. Now, mostly the Spawner Gadget is used for AI. But of course you can also, if you configure your Spawner Gadget, you can see that we got a few other items as well. But mostly it's just quest things such as NPCs and breakable objects. So, we're going to go over this today. At the end, you should know what this does, how to use it. And yeah, let's get started. So let's just go over the pins first, and then we can put it to action. So, start. Basically, the start pin on the left makes whatever you set to spawn here, spawn. The amount to spawn, of course, self-explanatory. It'll You just tell it how many of this specific thing it'll spawn. Seconds between spawns, that means that... It, let's say we have three things we want to spawn. And we started and we want one second delay so it'll spawn one thing in wait a second spawn one thing in wait a second and spawn the last thing in use spawn position use spawn position basically means that if this is true it'll use it'll spawn the specific thing in this specific location that you give it on this pin now if you've watched my other tutorials or know this by yourself you know that position is defined by a vector 3 variable the reset basically it, let's say your mid thing you can just reset it make it stop pretty much right so on the, on the, on the right started only activates when start activates and then we have these ones these are not basically if you remember what i was talking about some other time if they're placed like this then they are related they are working together pretty much as one because signal goes in here goes through here and goes out here in this case so let's go over these creation object spawned that means that as soon as we start it and the object spawns it'll also send out a signal here a spawn object spawn object will basically be the identifier of the thing that we just spawned so we could use that for variables other other circuitries basically if we spawn in let's say a pot we could send because basically this is the identifier of pot so we could just send that somewhere maybe send it into instance creation object or whatever you'd like to have to do to do with that all object spawn only activates when it's done done spawning right so if we set three things to spawn as soon as it'll spawn in the third thing it'll send out a signal from all objects spawned all objects destroyed that means self-explanatory of course when all these objects that have been spawned have been destroyed and reset reset basically activates as soon as you activate this reset so you reset the circuit and then the reset also gives out a signal of course it also has its own uh, identifier here which you can use with additional chips so we are gonna take a look at those because there's not many i don't think so you just have spawner internal start spawning and spawner reset um basically the spawner reset is basically this you tell it which spawner to reset and you activate it and it's just gonna reset that's all the spawner reset does the spawner internal spots start spawning there this is pretty much a mini version of the spawner gadget just maybe you maybe you have let's say a certain part of your circuitry that is going to determine which spawner is going to spawn in specific things and how many right because you could have you could have two you could have two like that at least move them so you see better there you go you have two like that and then you could use something like it's like an if expression and if you don't know what an if expression is i advise you to go to my other tutorial that i've done before where I shortly basically explain what an if expression is. So we could we could basically do this, right? So we'd hook this one up there, this one up there, and then send the spawner in there. So upon a certain amount of you know events, we will spawn in specific amount of things in that spawner on a location, whatever. And this is basically what's going to de determine which one of these two is going to spawn things. But we're not here for 
for circuitry tutorials, we're here for circuit tutorials. I'm here to show you what things do and not how to do things yet. So yeah, that's the spawner gadget. So now we're gonna just, I'm just gonna give you an example. So if we configure the spawner gadget, we click the object none button. Let's spawn in a grog mug. Why not? We click that and that's everything. If you look what we have here now, we have a, a little purple thing here purple hologram of the object we're going to spawn so to spawn it we just need something to activate it i'm always just going to be using a button because it's the simplest hook that up click it we have a mug now this one isn't oh it is gravel because i have that never mind so yeah we could throw that away destroy it and technically this would then activate because that specific thing that we just spawned has been destroyed so um let's let's see what else could we do uh i can sh let's just do this right so we're gonna spawn five mugs in the span of i mean each mug will be spawned zero in 0 0.5 seconds so we just click there you go then we let, let's do the spawn position right so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna make it spawn on me let's make that we're gonna go to circuits and we need we need a get local play this and then i get position so what this does is basically it'll get the local player which is me the person that is playing the game once it has me oh, it'll send my position over to the spawn position now of course this is going to be a bit weird because it's literally going to spawn in me we could make it so it spawns a little bit in front of me behind me and if you remember with what which chip to use i might just tell you real quick it's the vector split we'd split it we'd modify one of these values and then we'd create the vector that we just modified and send it into there so there, so now let's just push it. Oh yeah, so the reason why it didn't work there is because we didn't tell it to actually use spawn location. So use spawn location, we turn that on and we move around. And as you can see, mugs would spawn on me. But the thing is that it's a one-time thing, right? So you'd have to keep on starting the spawner gadget for it to be basically changing the spawn location, right? So you could make like a delay that would keep turning on. And then it'll keep starting the spawner gadget and it'll just spawn one thing instead of five at once because basically what, wherever I am and click the button, it'll spawn these five mugs on my last location when I pressed it. So that's pretty much been the spawner gadget v2 in a, in a short amount of time hopefully as simple as possible if you have any questions leave those questions down below in the description i mean the uh, comments not description that's my job um or just message me on discord i'll leave my discord in the description below and yeah i hope to see you in the next one